Amanda from Ponte's Books here with the chapter 11 vocabulary focus for the Prince and the Popper. Our word that we are focusing on today is one of my favorites um, to work on, especially with my students, because there's such a misconception around this word. And that is the word wherefore. So you'll notice with the picture, I've got question marks, which obviously where is a question as well. But why, if you just put a question mark, it usually indicates why, because the term wherefore or the word wherefore does not mean where, it means why. So you can see that here, pretty straightforward kind of uh, chart showing its definition. Um, so it is actually an adverb and it means for what reason or purpose. Uh, it is often mistaken for where, or people often think that wherefore means where, because obviously that's the first part of the word. So some examples or synonyms in this case would be the word why, it means why, and non-examples, it does not mean where, okay? A lot of people, uh, and we'll get to the famous Shakespeare line from Romeo and Juliet later, think that it means where, it does not. So tracing the etymology, um, is kind of weird for this word. It doesn't have a super straightforward pathway that it follows because there's not really a lot of meaning to the word. Um, it being an adverb, adverbs are like a little more abstract, so they don't usually have quite as um, specific of a pathway, uh, but it can be traced back to Middle English. Um, wherefore looks pretty much the same, um, which is actually a compound of the word where, and in this case, where meaning what plus for. So if you think about it, it does make sense because wherefore, if you kind of just ignore the fact that where can also mean like, where is something? If you think about what for, that kind of is another way of saying why. Like, what is it for? Why do we have it? What for is the way to think about wherefore. It can also be traced back to all these other um, different languages with similar words in them as well. So some sentences, straightforward sentence. Wherefore did you go there? That probably wouldn't be a sentence that you would ever actually see because if you're using wherefore, you would probably be using words like didst thou go. Um, but just to keep it straightforward, I kept that stuff in there. Sentence from the chapter. Above it rose many a splendid spire into the sky, encrusted with sparkling lights, wherefore in their remoteness they seemed just like, they seemed like jeweled lances thrust aloft. So this is one of Mark Twain's uh, descriptive um, things that he goes into in there uh, and uses the word wherefore in there, which doesn't mean quite as straightforward why, um, it's more like a witch in this, like which in their remoteness, they seemed just like jeweled lances thrust aloft. It's kind of hard to sometimes wrap your head around the definition of this word as it's used in certain cases, but in general, just think why. And then lastly, focusing in on this famous line. So Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Most people know the line, most people know the play, most people who have studied have had a teacher or something at some point who have tried to emphasize into them that she's not asking, where are you, Romeo? But why are you, Romeo? Um, but just to the general public, I would say there's still quite a few people that think he's asking like, he's like yelling out his window and he can't see her. And he's like, or she's, sorry, she's looking out her window and she's yelling like, Romeo, Romeo, like, where are you? I can't see you, which is absolutely not what's happening at all. So Juliet is actually asking like, why? Why do you have to be Romeo Montague? Because he is a feuding family to hers. And she's like, if you just were somebody else, if you had a different name and you were from a different family, like we could have been very happy together and nobody would have questioned it. But of course you have to be Romeo Montague. You have to like be this person. And she's like, why? Why does that have to be your name? So um, also just looking back to a little bit about, I guess, a little bit of etymology coming from this. There are many other words, um, many other times where the word where has a preposition tacked on the end, whereabouts, whereas, whereat, whereon, whereof, etc. And in most cases, when you're kind of breaking down the word chunks, the word where in those compounds 
actually has more of a meaning of what or which. So again, that ties back to this wherefore meaning why. Hopefully you learned something. Have a good rest of your day.